Procter & Gamble announces Crest Toothpaste with Floristan, its exclusive fluoride compound, world's greatest weapon against decay. Look, Mom, no cavity. Former employees of Occidental Chemical Corporation have filed a lawsuit against the company. They say they have life-threatening diseases like leukemia, emphysema, and toxic brain syndrome. For years, doctors struggled to diagnose them, but finally they found a common link. It was fluoride. It's a byproduct that they can't do anything with. It's a poison, so they sell it. You allow industry to use your water supply to dispose of their hazardous waste. It was a scam from the get-go. It is a means of getting rid of fluoride. It's a disposal mechanism. It's bizarre. Fluoridation is the worst recycling practice in the world. So, your Alcoa in the 1930s, a giant corporation that makes products out of aluminum, and honestly, you've created some pretty amazing things. Tea kettles, foil, airplane parts. But one thing that sucks about manufacturing aluminum is that it's a super messy process. Because guess what? Raw aluminum doesn't come all perfect and soft and ready to be molded into a frying pan. It needs to be chemically processed and broken down. And this chemical process produces a lot of highly toxic chemicals like ammonia, methane, and fluoride. And we're not talking about the natural fluoride that occurs in caves and stuff. We're talking about an artificial, man-made fluoride compound that is way more toxic. Like, really, really toxic. Hydrofluorosic acid does not occur in nature. It's a man-made molecule. And it eats through concrete, glass, stainless steel, fiberglass, plastic. You name it, it'll eat it. The problem is, it would be super expensive to dispose of this toxic fluoride in a safe and responsible way. So, it's a 1930s factory owner to do. Hmm. Why not pipe it into the air or, or dump it in the river? I mean, come on, it's the 1930s. This is the dawn of the industrial age. No one cares that factories are dumping toxic chemicals into the river. No one even knows what the long-term effects of these